Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate and welcome back to another video. So today in this video we're going to be checking out the new map location Nibelon and I thought this was quite an important uh, video to make because Moglins have been in Adventure Quest for, you know, since the very beginning I believe with Twilly in the original Adventure Quest and you know, it's really good to have a look at this map. It's good that they've finally put some sort of village into Adventure Quest Worlds for us to go have a look at. And I didn't realise in this location at the moment, that magic shop, there's a special location where a Doom Kitten is. And you'll find that later on. All you have to do is click the bookcase. You'll see me do it in just a second. But I'm just speeding it up to sort of quickly go through all the different locations. And I thought that there was going to be some proper you know, storyline quests, but it turns out they're just like the odd quests that don't actually get you much at all. And, um, but you know, that it doesn't matter, you know, it's just a weekly release, they can't put, you know, spend too much time in it. I wonder if those Dark Meikes, um drop the Dark es uh, Essence of Nogath, they probably don't, but... But I'm going to be trying getting the Nibelon Guardian armor today and the complete set, and it's really easy, all you have to do is go into the secret area and kill the Doom Kitten. There's no requirements or anything like that and I discover it by going to somebody because when I first joined I didn't know about this secret room. So I go to somebody and yes there is the Doom Kitten and I come out of the room after the kill just to see where I came out of. And this is the this is the monster that actually drops all of the really cool armors that you can see in the thumbnail. And yeah, you actually come out of the magic shop and it wasn't surprising to be fair, you know, a magic shop because there was a secret entrance in the old magic shop, which was uh, the Battle Under B. I believe it was actually in several of the different locations in Battle on Town, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But I do remember you pulling back a rug or something like that in the magic shop. So I just quickly turned that quest in and got a ball of, what is that? cotton or something I don't even know like knitting equipment I was thinking yeah I don't want that anymore so uh, quickly went back put that in my bank I believe or I did later on anyways because I you know I'm not going to be using that at all and I just decided to go into this room and this bit annoyed me because I was, I was clicking too fast trying to get in and I just kept spamming it um, I just wanted to get in there and make sure I didn't miss out on the kill and I basically guys I just farmed and farmed and farmed and you can see here within a few kills I actually got the armor the nibble nibble on guardian and I have to admit I wasn't a huge fan of this set when I first saw it but when I got all the pieces, you know, at the moment I look like an idiot, but to be fair, when you have the fully equipped helmet, you know, those weapons, the cape, you actually look fairly decent, and I do actually quite like the whole set in general, so I thought, you know, I'm going to stay here for a little while, I won't spend hours here, but I decided to stay just for about 15 or 20 minutes, just to see what I could get in that time, and I have to admit, you know, I actually managed to get the majority of the items within that time, and I was really happy about that because it just carried on motivating me to continue with the farm and the grind to get all of the items. For the next few clips then are just going to be basically highlights of me getting all of the items from the Doom Kitten and it's actually a quite easy uh, monster to kill. You can see that I've just got the closed nibble on guard helm which I believe is in my opinion the best looking helmet you can get and it looks quite nice with the frost veil uh, cape there as well but skipping on to the guard wings, the nibble on guard wings, these are actually what, my, what I personally think make this set i really like these wings it makes your uh, sort of like body look a bit bigger and stronger with the wings and the the sort of aeroplane looking wings on <laughs> on the cape i'm guessing they're trying to get some sort of mecha sort of looking i actually like it i was never really a fan of robots and mechas when i was younger and stuff like that but i do actually sort of like this this uh, this set and I like the uh, the rune the flower runes sort of going around in the animation and yeah it's actually really nice but here's where it starts to get interesting ladies and gents because I actually got the weapon and I think the weapon is probably one of the nicest bits about the set but to be fair I didn't actually know what this doom kitten dropped I was just sort of killing it and killing it and killing it um, and just waiting basically for it to drop the item so I get to see what it looked like. But you'll see in just a second, I look on the wiki page just to see 
what items it did drop and I saw the lance and I was like dude I really want that lance so that was the actual last item I managed to get but I saw that and I'm thinking yeah that looks really nice and then this one is basically just the sword with a rune sort of shield and that was actually the item I got next as you can see on screen now and I quite like these sort of styled ones I like the sword with the shield I said that when I got the frost veil one um, back in December but unfortunately the rune's not actually that big so you don't get to see typically what it would sort of look like and maybe if the rune was as big as the cape I don't know if that would look too overkill or something like that so that's maybe why they reduced it in size but there we are ladies and gentlemen that was the last item I got the lance and I was really happy when I got this I instantly went to uh, the map white map so I could you know go really up close to see what the items look like now this lance to be fair it could probably go with any sort of white armor or any angelic or good styled armor piece and that's why i really wanted it because i think with the cape as well um if you have some sort of metal looking armor or some once again of some white armors and things like that yeah i think it's going to look really nice so what i'm going to do then uh, later on I'm going to go try and make some sets and just maybe post them on Twitter or something like that for you guys to have a look. But yeah, I think my favourite item out of all of this is the Lance 100% and then followed by the Cape. That's going to be it for me guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. It's another short video I'm afraid. I'm slightly getting sick again, I can feel it in my nose and my throat. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.